Welcome to episode 60 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull Car Shirts and today we're going to take a look at the 2021 home shirt again. So this is actually the third time now that I've covered the 2021 home shirt. I covered it in episode 45 where I took a look at Dean Hadley's shirt that was ripped and it was cut off him during a game. So if you want to check that out, go look at episode 45. And I also covered it again in episode 53 where I covered Matt Parcells 2021 home shirt and man of the match medal from the round three fixture against Huddersfield. Now there is a reason why I'm showing you this shirt again. And this shirt, this episode will probably be a shorter episode, just based on the fact that I have covered it twice before. So if you want to go back and look at the intricate detailing of those shirts, go check out episodes 45 and 53. Um, but this one for episode 60, there's a special reason why I'm covering it. And I'll get to that in due course. So this shirt was worn throughout the season by Sean Kenny Dow, and it was worn in pretty much every game that I've been able to photo match it to. However, there was one game that it wasn't worn in, and that is the playoff fixture, the semi-final playoff fixture, and it mortifies me so much it wasn't worn. You, you can look at it, and you can see here that we have got these Super League patches. Now, you'll notice on there the way Betfred doesn't appear. Now, the reason for that, and I've told you many times, is down to the, the laws in France that prohibit the advertising of gambling sponsors. Now, we use these Super League patches, these oversized large patches, for the first time in 2021. So it's great for me to have a share within my collection that does display this Super League patch. It was heat applied to both sleeves. I can feel under this one that we've got the Betfred patch underneath there because it's that little bit thicker. If you can remember back to the other sleeve, we played a lot of the season with that plain, um, sorry, not plain, with, with a secondary uh, Super League patch on due to the agreement that had fallen down with Iconic and the Super League. So we did put a secondary Betfred Super League patch over on that side but that one doesn't have the Super League patch applied underneath because they've gone straight in with just one of these Super League patches. Now, as I've said, this is the first time that we used one of these patches. We've seen various different techniques before, and I'll pop some pictures up so you can see it. We've just cut the word Betfred off. So if you have a look, you can just see that it is that smaller Super League patch that we used to see in a, in a shorter form. But then we've gone with this large one. Now, I prefer this. I think this is a much better look. Uh, it's, it's probably easier for, for Burns as well just to whack one of these on and then just heat apply another Betfred Super League patch over that rather than having to cut and remove. It's got to be a very, very time a time consistent job. You know, you could just see how, yeah, it's got to be a, a right pain to constantly have to do that, especially when you think about 2022. Got three visits over there this year. So, yeah, there's a lot of work that must go into that. So hopefully we'll see more of these Super League patches for the visits in 2022. Um, I'm actually filming this before we've actually gone across to France. So if there is any images of us playing in France with this patch on or a different one, I'm going to pop it up now and you'll be able to see what those actually, uh, what we look like and what we've played in. Because at the moment, into this moment in time, I don't actually know. So yeah, that's the main reason why I wanted to do this episode, was just to talk to you a little bit about this Super League patch. If you reminisce not to have a little bit of a, a look at the back, and as you can see, this was worn by Sean Kenny Dowell with a number four. Uh, there's quite a bit of wear going on to the name. I can see where it's sort of peeling a little bit. There's a like, nice little slit here in the number. I've got a great picture of this shirt being worn against the Leeds Rhinos in round four, so I'll pop that up for you now. All of the contact points line up. So I'm, I'm certain that this shirt here is that one that was worn in round four. Um, it was worn in, in other games as well. You know, I've been able to put a match it to other games, but that's probably the one that I'm the most pleased with. It was a really good win at a very difficult point of the season for us. And it probably helped us have that little bit of a catalyst that really did sort of fire us into the, the final positions that we did find ourselves in come the end of 2021. So, yeah, that's been... Sean Kenny Dowell's 2021 home shirt. Like I say, I'm absolutely mortified that it wasn't worn in the playoffs. Uh, I know that because when I photo matched up the back of the shirts, there's just a couple of contact points that, that don't quite line up. Uh, I could be wrong, and it might have been, 
but I'm really, really difficult to please when it comes to saying that a shirt was worn in a game or not. And I just don't have enough evidence. I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced that this shirt is the one that he wore in the South of France in that playoff defeat. So, yeah, that's been everything for episode 60. Hope you've enjoyed this slightly different take and approach into looking at a shirt. Just trying to tell as many different stories as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Check back in another couple of weeks and I'll be back with episode 61 of Talking Shirts. Bye for now.